Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I have the QJet Design 5 meter VR link cable. That's USB 3.0 Type A to C. Obviously, Type C is on your Quest 2 side or your Quest, because this will work on the Quest as well, which is your Quest. And on the A side, we have that type of connection, which is that, you know, usual rectangle type of squared off connection, which I'm going to have on your motherboard, hubs, and all that sort of stuff. Pretty usual stuff. Um, something that a lot of people still, I think, don't realize is when you buy a link cable for your uh, Quest or Quest 2, when you buy this sort of cable, a Type A 3.0 to a C, which is going to work and you're going to have a fine time with the, the gameplay side of things. But the, the issue is um, your battery will, will run out. You'll get an extended amount of time. Full charged Quest 2 battery lasts about two hours. With you with it connected to your PC when you're playing some VR PC gaming, you'll get up to three hours because you are getting some current from the USB 3.0 port and it's going to provide some sort of charge, but it will run dry. So it's not going to allow you to play you know, your Quest 2 beyond that amount of time. And of course, if you have a battery which is uh, already slightly drained, then you can then reduce it even further. But this is a way to offset the problem completely because it does have this special feature and this cable has this little box on here and it's more than just a little box um, it is actually a way to add extra power to charge your battery and also keep it charged while playing games and if we look at the instructions on here it sort of kind of gives you some details on how it works you use your original Quest 2 charging cable and plug and effectively you plug it into here, which I'll show you in a moment, but you can see it's on there. Um, and interestingly, there's some details here as well, and it tells you what it does. So what it'll do, if your battery on your Quest 2 is already sort of depleted, and you know, whatever it is, under 50%, whatever it is, um, it will charge your battery and also allow you to play, continuously play on your Quest. And it will stop charging around 78%. I tested it and it, and it stops about 74% for me. But um, and it's there to not com completely keep it charged while playing uh, to basically protect the battery. So that's the reason why it wants to keep it this round under 80 percent. But it does mean it does work, and you can play continuously PC VR gaming with your uh, Quest 2 or your Quest without the battery running dry. Interestingly, there is a little uh, process on here. If you pause the video, you can see, see the what it asks you to do is to plug in, um, you know, plug different things in and then then into your PC as the last port of call, just so it can kind of tune the chip to your Quest, I guess, which is interesting. So you can see there is a little USB-C type of uh, socket on there. And what you do, as you basically think you do, you basically just plug in there, uh, which um, I've made a meal of since Let's just unplug it since I have my cables tangled up. Let's do that again. So that's what you're seeing. What you're going to get. So that goes into your uh, goes into your PC on any you know USB 3.0 Type A port, and that plugs in there, and that goes into the wall socket. So that's what you're getting. And of course, five meters later, that goes into your Quest. And I will tell you, it does work absolutely perfectly as it, as advertised. And and the other thing about this is, which, which is really good, because they're not giving you like extra stuff you don't need, because you obviously, you already have this, you know, you already have this component. It saves money since um, uh, in the UK, I bought this from Amazon for 30 pounds, 29.95. You buy regular, you know, link cable, and you're going to be spending what 20 25 pounds for a five meter link cable so this for a little bit more you, you've now got a link cable which does not have the deficiency of other link cables of your battery running dry this will support the battery and it works perfectly like i said it works i've tested it and it does a great job so if you are looking for basically a really good um you know um alternative to the official link cable because obviously the link the official link cable has a, is limited by the fact it's usb c on both sides so you need to have a usb c port on your pc side and you also need to have um that port and also needs to, to be um to be able to actually charge it some usb c ports on motherboards do not have the capacity to charge up to 15 watts and if that's the case you'll still have the same problem as before 
you're going to run dry on your battery. And if you don't have one of these ports, you're going to have to try an add-in card, which means adding extra expense, which you don't necessarily need if you're going to, only going to be using it for this. So this is basically a perfect, you know, um, way of doing it, guys. You've got the, you've got a, a link box, you know, a little a box on here. I don't know why I said link box. I think that's what they might have called it. But yeah, you put that on there, plug it into your, uh, into a wall socket. Uh, potentially, I wondered if you know. I guess yeah, you, yeah, you're going to do that. I mean, you could try using a USB C to um, USB A and plug it into your uh, PC socket on your PC, but I don't think it's going to have enough um, current coming from that. So you do want to run it in this configuration, but it's up to you. Try try different setups, of course. But um, as I, as I said, it does work exactly as advertised. It's a good quality cable. Um, yeah, reasonably flexible as well. These cables are never as flexible as the official link cable, but it's not bad at all. You can just see it does twist pretty well, which is good because, um, as I said in every other video as well, because it's important that I, when I've shown you link cables, um, is the more flexible you have on here, the better it is for your uh, quest as well, because it means you don't have too much stress on that socket there, which is really important because it is only a little socket, isn't it? You want to protect it. Um, it also comes, if I had it on the table, it did come with a Velcro strap as well, which um, I have uh, lost for the moment. But yeah, a little Velcro strap to tie this to the side of your um, headset strap. But yeah, really good, good product, guys. I would certainly recommend it. If you're looking for a, you know, a link cable, I'd say, and you, know, you don't have a USB-C and you just want something like a regular socket, a USB style A, 3.0, um, this is the way to go. It will keep your Quest 2 charged, it'll keep the battery topped up, and you will not have the deficiency of other Quest you know, link cables where your battery will run dry when you're running PC VR gaming. So there you go, hope you found it useful. Um, yes, yeah, tangle of cable, isn't it guys? But who cares, it is a really good product. Um, link in the description if you're interested in this. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, and bye bye.